What's up everybody? Welcome back to Central Florida Fisherman. Today we're out here with Don. We're going to run the airboat out and uh, do some fresh water today. So uh, hopefully we'll get on some crappie or maybe some uh, bluegill and hopefully some bass. But let's get in the boat and get it done. Mamba time. First thing. Look at that. Yes, That's sir. what I'm talking about. Open up Spec Master Flex. <laughs> Spec Caster Flex, boy. boy. He's no gorilla, but but he's an eater. It's one in the cooler. He's an eater. Take that rod and throw that rod back in our. Uh... That's what I'm gonna be. Well, no, I'm not probably using that one am I? I don't know. All right, Specky. You get to eat your first Specky. That's it. And maybe a few more, one or five. Another good spec. Another boys. good spec, son. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That's a fatty right there. That now. is a fatty. Are you talking about the spec or me? Yeah. Oh, boy. That's a good one. We probably should just open up that bag. There we go. Yeah, remember they're paper mouths so you don't have to set them real hard. Yep, yep. Oh, he's a good one. That is a good one. Look at that. Yes, sir. Mr. Okay. Twister? He's a little fatty. Right there. Got more than enough for dinner. Thoughts? Yeah. That was a good one? Yeah, that was a good one. There we go. Just had to switch up the lures. Yeah. Ooh. He's a fighter, huh? He's a fighter. That is a good one right there. An alligator. Alligator snapper. Alligator snapper. That's spec. Big old eyes. He's beautiful. Nuh-uh. Right on. Dude, I'm telling you, it bubbled as soon as it hit. It was a good one. I love that kind. We've got them. Oh, that's the bluegills. Look at the size oh, of these Oh, look guys. at that. Look at the size of these yeah. guys. That's a slab right there. That's a slab of meat. Ouch. It's a slab of stab. Uh-huh. You eating them? Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely eat, make a couple sandwiches out of them guys. Yeah, them bluegill get aggressive. They don't want them specks eating all the food. Mm -hmm. There he is. <laughs> I've got these uh, bodies down there if you want to try one. Another good one. 
Remember, we're only allowed to have 50 of these. <laughs> you can't get it done with 50. Well, he inhaled that, huh? He got it. He wanted that. He was swallowing it. He wasn't just biting it. That is a good one right there. Got him that time? Yeah, that's the little guys that throw back there. Oh yeah. See, that's... he's small, he's just not. You definitely don't want to keep nothing that's smaller than your hand. Yeah, no fillets on them and gotta keep the population. Well, that's it. messed up because he's going to tell mom and dad that uh look at this octopus he saw humans <laughs> got him i wasn't lying <laughs> get it out there for him, man it's you got to whip it oh look at that one yes sir that's a good one that is a good one Fit three fingers in his mouth. Yep. Nice little guy. There's one. There's one. Oh, there's your bluegill. There he is. Came out of this log. How's that for a double up? Nice little fishing trip. <laughs> it's been great. Ouch. Ouch. Got me on that one too. Yeah, I had. He's beautiful. Dang, it went right through his jaw. Nice. Nice dinner little right little there. Look. All the stuff hitting on top. I wonder what them little poppers would do. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there he is. Yeah. He's a little better fish. Oh, yeah. Nice little. Yeah. And I can see clearly now the fish are biting. <laughs> I love it. You know how many days I spend out here and go home with nothing? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like anywhere, you know? Yeah. Yeah, need the pliers for that one. That's one thing, you know they're feeding good because they're inhaling it. Oh yeah. Oh, Ain't never nothing wrong with trying new things. There he is. You good? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good one there. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty fish. Yes, they are. Look at him in the sunlight. That's good. Is that make a few good uh, sandwiches? Yep. Out here and want to come back out here all the time. <laughs> yeah, here they're good. There he is. Oh, a good one. Real good one. Yeah, that's a nice one right that's there. That's a nice one. Pretty. Nice big mouth on. I wish I knew how to cook this bag. I know a guy. 
need a brook. <laughs> a good one, man. There. Yeah, he is. That is a hoss. That's why. Get him over the boat. Yeah, that's a good one right there. That's a real good one. Look at that. Yeah, he's he's a good pound plus yep. right here. He's a fatty. That's a good fish. That might be the nicest one of the day right there. There. In the summertime, when you're gonna get them. Oh man, right beside me. There he is. <laughs> Almost wonder if the commotion of yours made this one bite. It starts up a frenzy. I mean, look at that. Oh yeah. Doubled up. Another double in, in trouble. Double, double, fish in trouble. Hey, do you have to have a fishing license to do this? No. Okay, I'm good then. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Trouble. Fishing license are for people who don't like paying fines. Yes. There he is. Man, that was quick. Oh, he's heading for your line. I know. I'm... Nice one. Yeah. Well, oh, that's yeah. a fatty right there. Another one of them good ones. Look at that back on him. He's heavy. He's got a thick back. He's thick, yeah, he's fat. There we go. You know, we're gonna have to stop after a while and make sure that we don't over uh, populate our cooler. Yeah. We're getting a little. Man, oh, that's a nice one too. Heck yeah. Oh, he ate. He did eat. She said, You gone. That's in there too. See if I can catch another one while you're unhooking. There he is. <laughs> uh, oh, we got off. Nah. -uh. Yeah, he did. Uh, and I wasn't even horsing him. Yeah, we got off. Oh well. I'm gonna need the pliers. There we go. Get this other one coming by. Cause there are yeah. some out here. You got one of them little jig heads? I do. Little jig heads too. Oh, look at that look slabber! At that yeah. He's not in the picture. There he is. Now he is. Yeah, you're up above him. There, there we go. go. Look at that slab. Mmm, yum yum. Nothing like them. That's a good speck right there. Freshwater candy. They're eating too, boy. Mm -hmm. They're grabbing a hole. They don't want to let go. That's awesome. Get him in the old Yeti. Really? Nothing. He went into the three. Oh! Got him out. Nice. That's a good one. He's heavy. God almighty. That's fatty right there. He's heavy, dude. Put that back on him. Uh, top of that fillet right there. Mm -hmm. He's thick. Ooh, he's thick too over there. That is a fatty. I'm trying to pull another one off the end of this stick without getting caught on it. That's the tricky part. There he is. Big old brim. What? Double up, boys. Double up or go home.
and our rods want to forward fight. Yeah. Blue in her eyes. a fat little sucker there. Okay. And then you got the fish too. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm back there hooking other rods. <laughs> 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 Alright, here we go. Time. Oh, yeah. The frisky frog. Frisky froggy. Frisky froggy, you're the one. Frisky froggy, we have fun. <laughs> oh, he's got me in sticks. Man, he's pulling like that? You got a bass. Well, you got Moby Speck. That's a bass. There you go. That's a pound and a half, two pounder. Reach down and get him, boy. Got him. Yeah, he's a pound, a little over a pound. Put him in the live cooler. Yeah? Yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, that's good fillets for you right there. Come get you some. <laughs> there he goes. Another cat head. That's a bigger one. Yeah. Couldn't resist it. I got to have it. I gotta eat that worm. There's a lot of meat on there. Yeah, it's going home. You gonna take it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna. Have you had fresh water catfish? Uh, I think at one point in time. Hey, can you batter that up and crop it in a deep fryer? Hole? We want to put him in the cooler? Well, oh, shit. <laughs> he said, oh shit! <laughs> oh, that was awesome! Right out the boat. Yeah. And he had plenty of time to chew. Yeah. Yeah, throw him in the cooler. Let's cool her up. It'll be fine. Should I break his spines off? Nah, I don't care. Damn it, I got another one. Lose them? Yeah. Did you even have a worm left on it? No. No bait on them at all. <laughs> oh, lift, that, lift that cooler up here. That's funny shit. Damn, we got another one. He jumped like a bass. He did. There we go. Another one. It could be a sloppier too. That would fight more like a sloppy. Oh, that's a bigger catfish. Yeah, that is a bigger catfish. That's a good one right there. That's a good cat. Oh, there he is. Got he got him. off. Straighten your hook. Nope.
a blast. We got back uh, from airboating. It started raining on us like usual. Like every day here in Florida, you get rained on. So it started raining. Uh, Don put the hammer down and we got uh, stung in the face with a bunch of raindrops. But we made it back to the ramp safe, which is the most important thing. So we did keep our uh, crappies. Uh, kept about 10 or so. Um, and then uh, I also kept a bass because I want to uh, do a bass cook. That's something I don't really do much. I don't really keep a lot of the freshwater bass. I usually just put them back. But we're out there, caught this nice bass. And uh, I figured, hey, why not uh, get them cleaned up and, and do a, a little cook with them. Uh, we also brought the catfish home. You know I don't keep a lot of catfish. I uh, typically throw a lot of the catfish back, but being a freshwater catfish, it's something I wanted to, uh, to try. So we'll get him cleaned up as well. Um, I got a few bluegill I kept. Make some little sandwiches or something with them. We'll do something with them, but let's go ahead and get these guys cleaned up and uh, get them in the fridge. I got some stuff to do this afternoon and maybe tonight. I'll uh, do some cooking with these guys. So I'm going to finish up the rest of these. We'll get these fish cleaned up and I'll see you guys in the kitchen to cook something good. All right, so we're back. I'm starving. It's time to cook some dinner. So what we're going to do first is uh, make these crappie patties. Um, what I have here is I already took and uh, cooked down some potatoes and smashed them down and made uh, almost like a, a mashed potato. So we put Danos on the, on the crappie fillets, we put them on the Traeger, let them sit on there and cook. Now we're going to take the fillets and put in our mashed potatoes. It's about three cups of uh, crappie fillets with just a little bit of Danos on them. Um, and it's uh, about a cup of mashed potatoes. I did a, uh, a Florida Gold. I saw them, they look cool. I like stuff that's grown in Florida, so that's why I bought them. I'm having trouble hearing. Can you say that again? Yeah, I can say it again, Siri, but if you just watch the video, you'll see it all over again. So now we're just going to stir that together. So that's all stirred together. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to take half a cup of chopped celery. Half a cup of chopped onions. Those are just sweet fidelias. Quarter cup of cilantro. Then I'm just going to put some salt and pepper in there. I don't really measure it out. Just to whatever you think is enough for your likings. Now I'm going to stir all that together. So end result, I'm going to take, pat these into cakes. We're going to dip them in some egg wash. And then uh, I got some Ritz crackers, just some of the original Ritz, and uh, crushed them up in this little container here. So we're gonna basically make breaded fish cakes. I'm gonna get the cast iron going. 
All right, so I'm going to heat the cast iron up. We're going to put uh, two tablespoons of butter and a little bit of canola oil, probably two tablespoons of canola oil. So we'll get that ready. All right, so I'm going to take an egg. Fighting with the cat. <laughs> Probably grab two eggs. Tiny. Okay, so we have our egg wash, eggs mixed up. I'm going to take and put a little bit of Danos in the Ritz crackers and the eggs. Just to season up the crackers a little bit. So that's going to be our breading. So now I'm going to take and start making some fish cakes here. So I'm going to take those, I'm going to put them in the egg wash, get egg all over them, and then go to the Ritz crackers. Those are going to be our little fish cakes right there. So we'll get the rest of these made up and we'll get ready to drop them in the oil. Alright, so now we have our butter and our canola oil all heated up. We're going to lay our crappie cakes in the oil and let them fry. Alright, so these are going to be ready to flip. We want them to be golden brown, which is what we have here. Mm Fish ready? I wasn't recording. Are you now? Yeah. All right, so we're going to get our other fish ready. I love these uh, pork rind, pork uh, breading, I guess you'd call it. That's like my jam right there. So we're going to bread and fry a, a side of catfish, a side of bass, a uh, couple pieces of bluegill and a couple pieces of crappie and uh, we're going to put them on the plate, we'll have them labeled and we're going to do a taste test to see which one tastes better and uh, I mean if I don't like the catfish or anything like that well I'll probably never keep another one again which I very rarely keep catfish anyways it's just fresh water, we were out there and I want to give it a shot so these are done Let's get these pulled off. Is that going to melt that? Look how beautiful they are. 
They are perfect. All right. All right, so we're going to bread up our fish here and uh, try to keep everything separate so that we can do the uh, taste test. So this is the bass. So we'll try to keep everything separate so that I know what it is. So bass. I got a big marker here. Put a B one here for bass. Catfish is the last one here. So let me get my oil back on here. I pulled it off there because it got too hot and I was about to burn the oil. Then we'll start with uh, the bass, which is a single. and the bluegill, which are three little fillets, we can easily tell them apart. All right, so the fish is cooked. That was a disaster. <laughs> I don't even know how I got it done. There's too, too much on, on one shot here on one video, in my opinion. I've never cooked this much fish, this many different types of fish in my life. But uh, what we have here is a Clawson pickle. I just used like these big Clawsons, like half a big pickle. Chopped it up real fine and put a cup of mayonnaise in there. I have a table, is it a teaspoon? A, a teaspoon of jalapeno mustard. That's good mustard right there. One of my favorites. And a teaspoon of lemon juice. Now I'm just going to mix that up. So it's going to be like relish. You could use like a sweet sweet relish, like a sweet pickle, or a sweet pickled relish, I guess you would call it, instead of dill, but I prefer dill. Alright, and if those both suck, <laughs> I got some yum yum sauce, mm -hmm. just in case. And I do like yum yum sauce, so we'll give that a shot too. But uh, let's check it out. Let's see what we got going on here. What do you want to start with? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one's hot. You just that one. Yeah, that's catfish. Um, let's, let's go bluegill first. Okay. I'm just going to eat with my fingers. I'm gonna dip it in. Should I dip it or take the first bite without anything? Let's just try it. Right. Mm. That's good. I would keep those little fat bluegills again. There you go. Look. There's a little fat cat. Alright, right. let's try some bass. Which one did you think was going to be the best? Crappie. Yeah. So far, bluegill's the best. Because I haven't tried anything else. Mm. Really good. 
Oh, that's good too. Very much. Further bottom. All right, goose down. So I'm gonna try dipping it now. So this one is for that. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good. I still think I like the bluegill better. Catfish is really firm. It's good. It is good. No, I wasn't expecting it to be that good, to be honest. I'm into it. I'm all about it. Opinion on all those, I would eat any one of those fish. Yeah. Any one of them. Any day of the week, any one of those fish. And not even think about it. And not even know what I was eating. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. Now let's try these. Everything here for me was a win. I mean, if you made it to the end of this video, <laughs> thank you so much for continuing to watch. I was uh, I was all over the place on this cooking. Like I didn't know which way to turn. I had so much going on, making this sauce, this sauce, getting these ready, cooking stuff on the grill. To, have the fish cook and potatoes and it was a total disaster but uh turned out good yeah we pulled it together and had dinner <clears throat> made it more tricky trying to film but yeah but uh 
We got it done. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're gonna get back out there and uh, probably gonna do uh, some trips up the Indian River here in the next day or so. Till next video, I'm out.